and it had a little tray in it. It was like perfect for grown, grown amaranth. All right, how's everyone doing? I hope you had a fabulous weekend. I know that some of you are excited because football started again, right? But uh, I'm excited because my microgreens came in. And I got so excited putting these together and starting to grow some. I had a sale over Labor Day. And then when it was done, I was like, ah, oh, I forgot. I told you guys I was going to make a video. I forgot to tell you guys. So I'm sorry I got busy doing it. When I put it up, it just started selling. And I, I didn't think about it. I've been busy with everything. And, and it, I was just going with the flow. And then I was like, oh, I forgot to tell my YouTube buddies, you know, that it was, I had it ready. But uh, uh, you guys are going to love this. It's a variety pack of microgreens. There's 17 different microgreens. And I put that together. It's going to be down in the store. The link's down in the description. And and I'm going to put it back on sale because since you guys missed it and I forgot to tell everyone, um, uh, the same sale that I, I sold to over the weekend, I'll go ahead and have it uh, starting today. It's Monday and I'll have it for another week. But you get 17 different varieties. Look at some of these. It's basil. It's cinnamon flavored. The pak choy, the ones you guys seen me grow like tons of it over the past couple of years, the white stem. Uh, mustard, mustard greens that taste like wasabi. This one's like exciting because that tastes really close to wasabi. Um, it's great on spring rolls and sushi. If you don't want to mess with that little green pasty stuff, that's awesome. So you got to try that. If nothing else, this blew our socks off. My wife's already got in here and started uh, grazing off of it. Um, we got cilantro, which is like coriander. Upland cress, one of the most healthy microgreens around. We've got turnips, fenugreek, it's an Indian spice, real fragrant, I love that. Peas, corn, beets, cabbage, uh, red acre cabbage. We've got purple Vienna, kohlrabi, arugula, kale, daikon, um, sunflower, and red garnet amaranth. And look at this. Doesn't that look cool? And see the container? That's a throwaway container that was from uh, the freezer section what was that a steam fresh frozen dinner and it had a little tray in it it was like perfect for grown grown amaranth and that's something that would have got thrown away so that's pretty cool and i have a video coming out so don't don't look at all that and like like it blows your mind um i have a video coming out where i, I show how to grow in all of these and that'll be out in a couple of days but you all remember this you know, we had the green containers and that's what I was doing from the very beginning. But that's because I had them all over my, my porch and my wife wanted it to look right and all the same color and people like that. And they're like, where'd you get it from? And I was like, Dollar Tree. So everybody went to Dollar Tree and, and bought them out all over the United States. And then they stopped making it and they st came out with colors like uh, black and red and some ugly colors. And people like, oh, I don't like that. And I, I was like, well, you know, I can't do anything about it. But I said, don't stress out about that. You know, almost any container that you have that has a lid with a little bit of a lip that you can put a wick in it, you know, you're in business. So I, I've got a couple of these that I've been using for years. I was going to plant these out with these microgreens and because the portion, we portion it out just right so that you don't have to think about it, that you get a packet. Each one's got a packet that fits right on a five by five grow pad. So an area about that big, you prep that. And you take one packet, you don't have to think how much should I put in, what's the density, you know, or weight or anything. You've got one packet fits that one spot. So no thinking, open up the packet, sprinkle on there, and you've got each one of those is one packet. No thinking, just sprinkle it on. So we're trying to make it as easy as possible. And I was going to plant these out, and I was like, oh, everybody stresses out about that. Let me go get some other containers so that I can show people that you can grow in just about anything. You don't have to get garden trays. You don't have to go get you know, just the right kind of box. That there's some things that take out trays. I know 90% of you have got that sitting in your house right now. That one was from uh, KFC. There came mashed potatoes in it. Uh, that was a box that holds index cards in the Dollar Tree. You know, some were from Walmart. This was from the Dollar Tree. It was a little sippy cup and it had a lid that flipped over. Made it perfect for growing that. I'll show you that in the video. You know, that's a throwaway. That's another one from the Dollar Tree. So just about anything you got that has a lid, you can do it with. So don't don't stress out about the container. You know, this isn't about uh, worrying about things. It's about trying different things and experimenting and having fun. And, you know, and you never know. You might try to come up with something that comes 
works out 10 times better than what I'm doing. And then you can go in a Facebook group and, and say, hey, Mike, look what I did. You know, like a bunch of people do that. And, and it's fantastic. I see stuff all the time. You know, people showing off what they're doing. It's just, it's just awesome. So that's the Facebook group. It's uh, keep on growing. But anyhow, you get 17 different varieties. And I had that going on sale for, I had it for $19.99. And over Labor Day weekend, I put it on sale for $14.99. And, and I had intended on doing this video and running the sale and putting it out. And then I forgot to put the video out. And I put it on sale and people found it. And, you know, they were, so I, I just got used to filling orders on downspouts and, and the seeds and putting everything out. It was afterwards, I was like, oh, I forgot to make my YouTube video and tell all my buddies on YouTube. So I'm sorry. I just been real busy and I know you guys have too and and uh, you know the crazy things that are going on in the world and we're opening back up and uh, there's just all kinds of stuff going on so I apologize so I'm gonna make it up to y'all I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on sale today you'll be on sale for another week I've got a week off and so I've got the product here and I've got time to pack the stuff up um, uh, so you know I have that ready for you uh, one thing I wanted to ask did I go a little overboard with like 17 varieties? You know, should I, uh, uh, I was thinking that if you grew four of these a week, you know, that's a lot of microgreens to eat four of those in a week. If you did four of those in a week, this would take you for the entire month, right? So I was thinking, you know, a month's worth of microgreens, you know, 20 bucks. If you go in a store and you buy this much microgreens, you need to spend about five to $8 just on, you know, one little portion. So I figured, you know, that was pretty good. But some people, you know, if, if I was wondering if there's anybody, because one person did DM me and said, do you have a smaller pack? And my experience is that when one person says something, there's 10 other people that were thinking it that didn't say anything. So I just want to let, ask you guys, you know, would you like like a smaller pack? And then what should I put in it? Because I've got all these varieties now. Um, I can't make it a pick and choose because that would be a nightmare for me trying to fulfill all the orders in like arugula, cress, and, and daikon, and this one wants... Uh, uh, arugula and cilantro and you know what I mean I, I I'd be there all day trying to fill them out um, so I got to kind of streamline it and I was thinking if I did little packs like eight packs and and maybe if you guys told me down in the description or comment or DM me or whatever um, I'll put these down in the description so if you can't read that and pick like your favorites and I'll go through and, and the comments and that and I'll find like the favorites and I'll build like an eight pack of like all the the most requested ones and I'll call it a a viewer's choice or something so I think that'll be fun and I was thinking of different packs like one for beginners like radish and pak choy the ones that are really easy to you know so if you're not really sure and you you're kind of scared but you do want to try them maybe I'll give you just the easy ones to grow uh, or maybe flavorful ones the spicy ones uh, maybe a fun one with like corn shoots and pea sprouts and, and sunflower sprouts you know something like that so I might make like some different ones you guys let me know if you want like smaller packs for maybe like $9.99 instead of like $17 for $19.99. And don't forget it's on sale $14.99 for the next week. So let me know. Like I said, I, I just want to accommodate everybody. I don't want to leave anyone out if they go, oh, I didn't want to get 17 different ones. And, and there's some people like, yeah, I mean, wow, that's, you know, they already sent me messages. And they're like, there's a lot of things in here that they were wanting to try and taste. But you don't want to go and buy a whole package of it because what if you did taste this and you really don't like wasabi you know and then you've got all these seeds you know with a bunch of mustard greens so some people are like the they were like wow that's fantastic because there's a lot of different things that i saw that i was curious about and now i can taste it and you know and if i don't like it i don't like it and if i do like it i can go to true leaf market which i have the link down below too and then you can go ahead and get get a pound or two pounds or five pounds or whatever you like um so let me know if you, the little smaller packages will do a little better and, uh, uh, and which ones you guys would most like to see in it. Um, one more thing real quick. I've got a uh, master blend in bulk too, so if anybody needs it, I got like a one pound bag. I'll, I'll put that in uh, the shop. Uh, if anybody asks for it, I don't really need to because I'm using it for the downspouts and, and for the food grade containers. But if I do a one pound this is like a one pound brick. I just uh, use the vacuum sealer to do that. But I was thinking if it was a pound, if it goes over a pound, I got to use priority mail. So if I did like a pound for like 10 bucks, priority mail is going to be like eight, 
what is it, seven something, so like eight bucks for it. So it's gonna, the shipping is gonna cost almost as much as, you know, the, the nutrients. But if I did uh, uh, three quarters of a pound, and then that way with the box and everything, and I can keep it under a pound, I can send it by first class mail, which will average between three and 450 around the United States um, for under a pound. So that would be, I, maybe I do three quarters for 7.99 and then four or five bucks for shipping. So you're talking about like $12. So you guys let me know what, what you think if you don't mind you know, priority mail, one pound package would be $10 plus about eight, so $18. That's going to make about 40 portions, which would be times five would be 200 gallons of Master Blend for like a one pound thing. And if you do three quarters, three quarters of 200 is 150. So you get 150 gallons for eight plus four, four or five dollars, so between 12 and 13 dollars you get 150 gallons worth. Uh, so let me know, you know, if you guys need that or not. Like I said, I've got it. I'm, you know, I'm going to use it, but I've got it right now. So if anybody does need it, I think that it is stocked right now. Uh, but for a while there, it was like getting scarce and people were like looking all over for it. So if you need it, let me know. I ordered extra so that I can have a little on hand. Um, I'm not going to do the calcium nitrate because I live here in Florida. And if we try that, if I don't close it up, the moisture just absorbs it all and I come in and it's just liquid or it's a, a solid block. So I don't want, you know, if I lose a pound or two pounds because I'm a little careless is one thing. But if I come in and I have 50 pounds and I forgot to seal it up, you know, it's Florida with 100% uh, humidity. I don't want to lose like 50 pounds of calcium nitrate just because I was a little careless. So uh, I'd rather not, you know, uh, keep and store that. And Epsom salt, you guys can get that just about anywhere. I think they got it in a dollar store now too. You know, but I, I get mine in the garden center, but they, they got Epsom salt up at, at the Dollar General for like a buck. So there's no sense in you guys getting that for me and paying shipping and everything. You, you got that readily available everywhere. So this is what scares So Y'all let me know if I should put that in there and I'll get that up and, and shipped out to everybody too. And uh, I just want to say real quick, I don't want to keep you all too long, but thank you everyone. Uh, whether you purchased anything, I know that you, you know, you're buying it for yourself but you're also helping me out i really appreciate it or or you you guys who have like pushed a little applause button that's down below uh there's no way that i know exactly who does it and i can say thank you but but you know i see that people have been doing it and so thank you very much for that um and everyone who shared it like i said there's there's so many things that go on that you guys are helping with that i i can't really uh say thank you individually so that's why I like to do things like this for y'all. I feel like I got to give back sometimes. Um, thank you for all our new members. The you know we've got the join button now, so uh, they're helping the channel. They're the ones making a monthly contribution. It's four ninety nine. Um, uh, thank you. We've got a bunch of new members this month. You guys, let me know if there's something that you want from me. Um, if you want like a members only live stream where we can get together and. and uh, do a Q&A or just talk or whatever and just give me a chance to thank, uh, thank you. Um, if you guys uh, want an extra discount on something or, you know, or, or a little free gift, you know, let me know. I want to do something for everyone. So, um, like I said, I can't thank the new members enough. I can't thank everybody who's done anything. And just you, if, if you're just watching, uh, thank you too. You know, I, I enjoy everyone being around and, and it's a great community and you guys have shared and and like I said, we, we're spreading this message all around the world. I get, you know, messages from people from all these different countries. And it just blows my mind every morning when I wake up and I get these comments or DMs. And, and I'm sorry if I didn't get back to everybody. There, there's so many messages coming in and, and the email is overflowing with like people wanting to do sponsorships and, and everything too. And, and it gets all, um, you know, there, there's so much that I can't get to everything. So I just want to take this moment to say Thank you to everyone, no matter what you've done. If you've done anything to support the channel or if you're just tuning in and watching, I love each and every one of you. And you guys are out there and you're spreading the message and, and, and you know, you guys are making a difference in the world. You, you're, you're being a change. You know, you're, you, you inspire me. So that's what you did. You live to inspire and you're being a change. So keep on doing what you're doing. That's, you know, I can't say thank you enough. So till next time, keep on growing. Much love.